Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany, and I'm back again with another YouTube video. I want my baby to hide your guys. I'm going against my own advice. Should I do New York? I can't decide. Fashion week was more your thing than mine. I can't even. Yeah, I'm so happy because my boyfriend out of the hospital. So yeah. I ain't gotta keep going back and forth up there with him because he's out. And today's video is gonna be a little different. I'm going to be giving y'all advice and things that I learned being a security guard. I have been a security guard for nine years, so I kind of wrote down some stuff that would help someone in the security field or trying to get in the security field. I got a little list that I'm gonna be reading to y'all. Um, some advice plus the things that I learned being a security guard for nine years. The first one on my list is always be alert, watch your surroundings. Y'all take them AirPods out your ears. Like, just because you work at a post and you think it's always chill and ain't nothing ever going on, just always be alert just in case because you never know what's gonna happen. Um, the second thing I got is no one is your friend. When you work at an apartment complex, um, it could be anywhere, shopping center, no one is your friend like them people will tell on you the property manager will tell on you the everybody else will tell on you they is not your friend because um once they see you trying to be friends with them they're gonna kind of do what they want for example with my post i have a swimming pool at my post um and it closes at 10 so when i get there everybody should be out the swimming pool but it got some certain ones that they think because I'm cool that they can be in the pool to 11, 12, 1 o'clock in the morning. And I still have to go in there and tell them that, y'all, the pool is closed. No one is your friend and don't try to be friends with them because it can get you in trouble. Number three, make sure your reports is very detailed and very accurate. You don't want to put nothing that's not true on your reports. Make sure you get the who, what, when, where, how. Um, be very descriptive, y'all. I get employee of the month every month. And they said the reason why I get employee of the month every month is because my reports, y'all. Um, they said if they had a class where they was gonna teach the guards how to do a report, they would have me teach the class. Which is kind of funny but because the last security company that I worked for, they said my reports are stretched. This man came and told me on my birthday, one of the supervisors told me on my birthday last year that my reports is stretched and I need to work on it. So now with this company, I took what he told me and now with this company, I write the best reports. So make sure you be very descriptive, very detailed uh, and put exactly what happened. Don't lie and don't state your opinion and nothing like that. Just put exactly what happened. Number four is don't touch nobody. Like for example, like I was telling you about the pool, I could go and tell them that the pool is closed, um, but I'm not about to push them. I'm not about to touch them, letting them know that the pool is closed. I'm gonna tell them and then can't make nobody do nothing they don't wanna do. I put your hands on them, do not push them, do not touch them. You said what you said, you told them, you let them know, you informed them that the pool is closed. They wanna leave, that don't mean you put your hands on them to make them leave. So don't touch nobody. Don't put your hands on nobody. The next one I have is, y'all don't date nobody. Don't date none of them. Don't talk to none of them. Like I learned my lesson and by experience, do, do not date nobody at the job. Don't do it because it can get real messy later on y'all don't date the guards don't date the other guards don't date like if you work at a shopping center or you work in an apartment complex don't date the residents don't don't date nobody dealing with work y'all because by experience i know coming from experience that it could get so messy down the line just don't just don't do it don't talk to nobody at your workplace people that you work with not that y'all next one i have is always keep it professional your looks conversation um when you dress right in your uniform you represent the company always look professional um neat clean very professional don't don't come up in there looking messy and dirty just keep it professional y'all um when you conversate with somebody um don't be messy you know you're supposed to be for, you're the professional one always keep it you know professional and work related don't be talking about nobody 
and nothing like that. Don't let nobody come and tell you something that they heard. Just don't get involved in none of that. You could lose your job about something like that. Don't get involved with the residents or the people that at the job place or whatever post you at. Just don't get involved in none of that. Even if you work with other guards, um, don't don't get into none of that messy stuff, y'all. Cause like I said, you can get fired down the line about some stuff. Just don't get involved. Come to come to the workplace, do your job, go home. That's it. Um, don't let nobody bring you out your character because somebody could say something to you, bring you out your character. <laughs> I, I I got experience. I've been there. I've done that. Somebody say something to you at work, and you forget that you at work. You forget that you got your uniform on, and 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 they and then they lucky that you got your uniform on because let me not have my uniform on when you talk to me crazy. So don't let nobody get you out your character like this. Anybody that you date, that's just just goes to real, for real life stuff. Even if you're dating somebody, don't let them. If they let, if they bring you out your character, they ain't for you. I'm just saying, don't let nobody steal your happiness, steal your joy, and bring out your character. Just don't do it. Know what your job description is. Um, if somebody asks you a question and you don't know, like try to find out. Don't tell them you don't know because I had somebody ask me questions. Oh, where's this building number? Or oh, what's this apartment? And I didn't know because I was new. I was like, I don't know. And they was like, why you don't know? Or how you don't know? You work here. So always find out what your job description is and try to find out the answer. Because you don't want nobody. You don't want nobody. You don't want somebody to ask you something and then you don't know the answer to it. And you be like, you don't know. And that's not professional either. So just try to find out. Like, if, like for me, I work at an apartment complex. So it's. 18 buildings but when i first started i didn't know what building one is and building seven and building eight so when i have a lot of door dashes that will come into the apartment complex and they'll be like hey where's building eight and i be like, I don't know and they'll be like how you not know you work here so what i did every day gradually i learned all where the apartment was at all the building numbers where they was at now i know where all 18 buildings are so if they come to me like where's building seven i know exactly where it's at so try to Try to know what your job description is. Try to find out the answer. Like, even if you don't know, try to find out. Try to call somebody and find out what the answer is to whoever asking you a question, you know? Take your job seriously. Do the best that you can do. Um, like I said, people would think, because they post is chill, they've been there for a minute, and nothing never happened on their post. That don't mean you not take it seriously. Always take it serious because just because something didn't happen for two months, Maybe that third month something gonna happen. So you just always gotta take your job serious and do the best that you can do. Um, you can't stop everything. Um, if somebody comes to do something, they're gonna do it regardless. You can't stop it. So just still try to do the best that you can do. That's all. That's it. Take care. I can't stress this enough. Oh my God. Take care of the property. Like, I'm not talking about the post itself but if you got like a golf cart make sure you take care of it um for example i have wednesdays off now um i never had off day now they gave me wednesdays off well i'm off wednesday it's another guard that works on wednesdays and um i feel like he don't take care of my golf cart the way i take care of it so don't be one of those people that treat it any kind of way don't leave trash pick up after yourself Just take care it's not yours the golf cart at the property is not yours so treat it like it's somebody else's because i know some people are kind of dirty and kind of nasty but um it's, it's not sure so take care of it. you're not the only person driving it um somebody else is using it and like i said you want to take care of it because it belongs to the company and you don't want it to break you don't want nothing to happen to it where they have to come out their pocket to fix it so just make sure you do the best that you can do about taking care of whatever it's like what even if you had a walkie-talkie or anything with the company property make sure you take care of it and last but not least i put is you are not the police you cannot do stuff the police can do so even if you are like i'm armed that don't mean i could do stuff the police can do you're not the police you're not the police you're just a security guard whether you unarmed armed you're just a security guard you are not the police so i'm gonna run the 10 things the first one I put, always be alert. Number two, no one is your friend. Number three, make sure your reports is very detailed and accurate. Number four was don't touch nobody. Number five is don't date nobody. 
Number six is always keep it professional. Number seven is know what your job description is. Um, number eight was take your job seriously. Number nine, take care of the property. And number 10, you are not the police. So this is the kind of like the advice or the stuff that I learned from being a security guard for nine years. So if any of y'all security guards um, watching, hope some of this advice helped you all at your post. Or if any of y'all trying to be a security guard, just use what I told you and you should be fine at your post. Anyways, good luck if you're trying to be a security guard or if you're already in the field, good luck with everything. But that is it, I hope that you learned something. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you all in my next upload. Bye. I'd rather stay inside. I can't do suit and tie. Can't be in one room with you and stand on different sides.